In an attempt to settle a strike by doctors in the public sector who were displeased about a salary award to their counterparts in the military hospital, Ghana responded with a new policy, the Additional Duty Hours Allowance, or ADHA. This new policy allotted an allowance over and above the standard 40 hours per week public sector salary level. A seemingly harmless effort to calm dissatisfaction would then go on to have adverse effects against Ghana's health services. As a result of this policy, nurses and other health professionals also soon became dissatisfied regarding their pay until the policy was extended to include almost all personnel within Ghana's health sector. However, the unrest did not stop there. Delays in payment of the allowance and additional strikes led to a cycle of feedback. Failure to appreciate all the effects of policy decisions, the differing stakeholders, and the interactions between multiple actors and agents resulted in a negative feedback loop that only further complicated the initial problem. Healthcare is a complex system. As a complex system, healthcare systems are open systems, have many stakeholders, institutions, and organizations with interconnected and interdependent elements positive and negative feedback, nonlinear relationships, and are adaptive and reactive. Healthcare is constantly evolving. It displays an adaptive and emergent behavior as interactions between agents take place over time. The complexity of the system is determined by the degree of agreement between stakeholders and their degree of certainty. Do we agree with this program and do we know what is going on? With many interrelatedness and components involved, complexity teeters between simplicity and chaos. As we have seen, even the most goodwill policies or the introduction of a new technology will trigger new interactions among the agents of the system. Therefore, it's difficult to plan and implement innovations and interventions in such a complex system. Therefore, healthcare innovation and interventions need to take place across the whole system. This is done by first understanding and managing the complexity in health systems. Once that is achieved, we can move on to designing improvement programs that take complexity into account. Although there is no generally accepted definition or statement for complexity theory, we can refer to Siller's description, complexity is a characteristic of a system. In a review published in BMC Health Services Research, complexity theory is further regarded as a perspective that conceptualizes relationships of components within a system as the foundation from which the properties of a system emerge. Complexity theory does not reduce the system to individual components, but instead looks at their interactions. And it's then those interactions that result in the overall behavior of the system. However, these interactions are not controlled by a central control, and agents have limited control over how the system level changes and merge. In our pursuit to apply complexity theory to healthcare, we take a look at a case study set in Stratford, Greater Manchester. After closing a local PCT clinic and moving the community health services two miles away to a separate clinic, 6,000 residents, old and young, served by the clinic, already suffering disadvantages, had difficulty accessing the new center. Public transport could not travel near enough to the new clinic due to the narrowness of the roads, and with prescriptions being sent to the new health center, the local independent community pharmacy faced a potential closure. In order to rectify the problem, residents took action in into their own hands and formed the Low Stock Community Partnership, or LCP. With the help of service providers and a PCT manager, residents were able to undertake their own needs assessment and voice their concerns to the PCT board. In the end, PCT resolved to sell the clinic site. The residents approached the community pharmacist and he approached a GP surgery and a new lead GP. Together, the GPs and the pharmacists purchased the clinic site and redeveloped it into a new health center closer to the residents. By assessing the needs of the community and reflecting these needs into the design of their program, Low Stock Community proved that communities on the edge of chaos are fertile ground for complexity theory to work. In a separate study, Innovating Across Health Systems Drug Utilization Review in Sweden, presented by Adrian King, part of the Strategic Group, King highlights the key takeaways of transferring innovations across health systems and driving change across the whole system. First, early proof of concept is critical. Stakeholders can be convinced by demonstrating the economic case, savings and returns, patient case, showing clinical and quality care benefits, and the technical case, showing that Medcoat's DUR could be integrated into Sweden's pharmaceutical infrastructure. Second, understanding of stakeholders and the ecosystem. 
Research can provide evidence to reveal the costs and benefits on every level. Third, implementing the correct structures. A joint venture model allows for openness and goals and aspirations to inspire a cultural understanding. Despite the promising benefits of using complex theory, the theory itself involves conceptual confusion. An inconsistent application hinders the operalization of this potentially important perspective. Complex theory does not offer generalizability or a one-size-fits-all model. Therefore, there is no universally accepted approach to implementing complexity theory into healthcare. As a result, complex th theory interventions in complex systems can become too complex and can result in further confusion as to what is actually leading to results. The incorporation of complexity theory is being trialed and errored throughout healthcare systems. Despite opposition that complexity theory offers no standardization, it is also the variation and malleability of the theory that is enticing to health problems around the world. Complexity directs innovators towards a model that involves experimentation with different approaches and forces us to ask what works best. As we have seen, failure to account for and appreciate the complexity of health systems as a whole can hinder efforts to achieve better and more equitable outcomes. A systems approach changes our perspective and allows us to better understand the interconnected relationships among health system components. In the end, we are able to move away from linear and reductionist policy interventions that consequently result in more problems for health initiatives.